What is up? What is up? What is up? It is me, yours truly, Tommy the Barber Martin. I want to do a quick um, tutorial on how to download, set up, and book on the Cut appointment app. I've had probably, um, I don't know, probably eight to ten people that said that, um, you know, they're not good with. Uh, doing things like that, I get it. Not everybody as uh, is as technology advanced as others. So I'm going to do this tutorial to show everybody how easy it is to uh, book on the app. So here we go. All right, I am actually recording with my phone, so I am using another phone to do the. Um, app installation so when I send you the link it will directly take you into um, the app choice uh, with my link in it but if you just go to the app whether it be the Google Play Store or um, the Apple iTunes it's very simple. The cut. Right here's the app. The cut. We're going to press get. Oh, put your fingerprint on there to install. Alright. So it looks like it's downloading. Um, I have downloaded the app from the App Store. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to go sign up. Put in my information. Now, I have created a fake email just for this video demonstration. I'm trying to do this where I can see. There we go. John Doe. John Doe X O X at Yahoo.com. I'm going to put in the password. All right, bear with me. I'm trying to record and trying to do all this typing at the same time. All right, am I a barber? No, I am not a barber. So I'm going to sign up. Uh, send a little notification, sure. Say password, not now. Okay, now you're going to come to this part right here. You're going to click Find Barbers. Right here, Tommy Martin, the shop. You're going to click on my name. Now you're in. You're set up right here. So you're going to add me. All right. You've been added. So now what you're going to do is you'll be able to see these are the hours that you will be able to book appointments. Okay. So you can simply click book. You go through the list of services. Okay. I have everything priced accordingly. A regular haircut right now during the coronavirus deal. I'm not charging the additional $10 appointment fee. Any other time, there will be a $10 appointment fee. This buys your spot. Whatever time frame you select, no one can interfere with that time frame. So if you book an appointment at 2 o'clock, 
and I get done with an appointment or regular haircut that's not an appointment at say 145 and there's 15 minutes time frame and you're getting a ball fade haircut and a beard trim that that's going to take say 45 minutes I'm not going to try to squeeze you in that that spare 15 minutes you're going to have to wait until that appointment is, is done with so um or not you but the person that uh is there before your appointment basically what i'm saying is is when you pay that extra ten dollars that pays for your spot no one can interfere with your time frame also you have a 10 minute grace period to show up for your appointment so if your appointment's at two o'clock you have until 2 10 to show up what that does is if it's just a haircut and I know I can cut your hair in 20 minutes I set it for 30 minutes that way it gives you 10 minute grace period to get to your appointment and if you're not there within 10 minutes after your designated appointment time you are considered a no-show and you will be charged 50% out the gate so what you do from here is just say you want a, uh, a ball fade, which is considered a specialty haircut, and a beard trim. You can see that's $25. So you click on that. Uh, it tells you, or you scroll down and say you want that for Tuesday at 11 a.m. It goes all the way out. Okay. Now, notice right here, 5 p.m. is the last time that it will let you um, book because that service is set up for 45 minutes. So, being that we close at 6 o'clock, it will only allow you to book up until 5 p.m. Okay, that's in the app. Uh, you have the choice, if you want, to set up recurring times and dates. So if you are a person that gets your haircut every single week or every other week or once a month or whatever, you can book that, that exact same day and time every week, every two weeks, every three weeks, every five weeks, every six, however you want to do it, all the way up to three months out. In this case, we're just going to choose never. We're not going to do a reoccurring. Okay. Now at this point, you will add in your credit card or debit card information. Uh, for this purpose, we are not going to do that here. It presets the tip at five dollars. Um, you can change that. You can do it to whatever you want. You can do one dollar. You can do ten dollars. Whatever you want to do, and it tells you right there: any cancellations within one hour of appointment are subject to fifty percent fee. No shows are subject to 50% 50, 50 fee. So there's no hidden fees. There's no tricks. I'm telling you straight up. If you set an appointment and you do not show up, you will be charged 50% because that does not allow me enough time to rebook that appointment. So you will be charged if you don't show up. You will be charged if you're more than 10 minutes late. Now, we can work it out. If you come in 10 minutes late, I move on to whoever else is next. If somebody's there sitting and waiting or whatever, and then I'll work you in as soon as I can, but you will still be charged. Okay, so at this point, you've picked your service, you've picked your date, you've picked your time. You don't want it to be recurring. You've added in your tip. You added in your debit card information. And then it tells you what you will be charged right here, $35.95, okay? There is a $0.95 cent processing fee that the app charges, so it's going to cost you $35.95. You're going to hit book. Oh, how did you find this barber? Um, we'll just click that. So now we're going to hit, uh, it wants me to put the payment information in. Okay, we're not going to go to this step because I'm not going to put in a payment information. But once you put the payment information in and click book, it will tell you that you have booked an appointment with Tommy Martin at the shop 7913 on Tuesday, March 21st or 24th at 11 a.m. 
and it will show you how much you are being charged. At that point in time, I will receive a text message notification saying that John Doe has booked an appointment on Tuesday, March 24th at 11 a.m. Then I will go in and either confirm it or deny it. Obviously, I would confirm it. The only, re the only way I would deny it is if, for whatever reason, I have something going on that I'm either out of the shop or um, maybe I'm sick that day or whatever. But generally, whenever um, something like that comes up, I'll go into the app and disable whatever days I'm not going to be into the shop. Therefore, no one can make an appointment. So, uh, with that being said, that is the procedure on how to uh, book an appointment with me through the app. Pretty simple. So, if for whatever reason you have any questions or concerns, um, please feel free to comment below. Make sure you like the post and... Um, I look forward to seeing you at your, uh, at your first or your next appointment. Have a good day.